Amos and Boris by William Steig. Amos, a mouse, lived by the sea. He loved the sea. He thought a lot about traveling to the faraway lands on the other side of it. One day, Amos started building a boat. By day, he built the boat, and at night he studied navigation. When his boat was ready, he packed it full of supplies and sailed away. He enjoyed himself immensely. One evening, as he lay under the stars, thinking about how happy he was in the middle of the shimmering ocean, Amos fell asleep, and suddenly, splash, Amos landed in the ocean. Help, he squeaked. Even though he was very scared, he decided to stay where he was and hope a passing ship came to save him and hope that a passing fish did not decide to eat him. The morning came and the sun warmed the fur on the top of Amos's head. He still had a little hope that he would see his home again. Suddenly, a huge mountain appeared in front of him. It wasn't a mountain, though. It was a whale named Boris. The two introduced themselves, and Amos told Boris how he came to be in the middle of the sea. Boris, who happened to be on his way to a whale conference, happily offered to take poor Amos back to his home. Amos climbed aboard, feeling tremendously relieved, and the two set off. They had a wonderful time on their trip and became great friends. When they reached Amos's shore, they were both sad to say goodbye to each other, knowing that they may never see each other again. Amos was so grateful to Boris for saving him that he knew he would return the favor if he ever got the chance. He wasn't sure how, but he knew he would try. Many years later, the largest hurricane of the century struck. It created a great tidal wave which washed poor Boris ashore, where he happened to land on the very beach where Amos made his home. Boris, helplessly stuck on the hot, dry sand, felt hopeless and wondered if he would ever see his home again. That very morning, Amos happened to wander down to the beach to see if the great wave had washed up anything wonderful from the sea. And there was his poor old friend, Boris. The two recognized each other at once. Amos knew he must help Boris, but neither creature was sure how such a small mouse could help such a big whale. But then Amos had an idea. He ran off into the forest, and before long, he returned. He brought with him two of the biggest elephants he could find. Before Boris knew it, the elephants were using their strong trunks to push him back into the water. When Boris was back in, he wriggled out deep and was very relieved to be home again. Before he swam away, Boris turned with a tear in his eye to wave goodbye to his dear friend Amos. Amos, with a tear in his eye, too, waved back from atop one of the elephants. The two friends were not sure if they would ever meet again, but they were sure they would never forget each other.